Because from now moving onwards, we are going to require biometric data from the people coming into the country. Now we can't get that biometric data from an intermediary. You, you can't take your eye off and say, they will scan my iris for me, or here is my thumb, then scan my thumb for me. You, you have to present yourself. We actually wouldn't want to be in possession of people's eyes and, 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 and fingers. We would rather you came with your organs on you. We, we take the details we want and then you, you can return um, for us to grant you your, 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 your visa or your permit as, as, you, as you require. Immigration practitioners will still be able to serve and service and provide consulta consultation and other services to the applicants of visas and permits. Um, and, and so they still have work to do. But insofar as home affairs is concerned, even with regard to South Africans, you do not send an intermediary to apply for your ID or your birth certificate. We want you to present yourself at our offices before we can grant you an ID or a, 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 a birth certificate. This is much more important during this era of, of great security concerns globally around the, the, the movement of people, the, the, the tra travel, um, and, and issues related to, to security. We cannot allow into our country people whom we do not know, that we cannot account for. We've had bad experiences, even quite recently, where we were not able to account for people who had come into our country. We are changing those systems. Part of modernizing home affairs and strengthening its security elements is to ensure that we are able to have clarity as to who is coming into our country, what are their details, what are their biometric details, so that we can provide our country with security and so that we can provide our visitors, our guests as a country, with security whilst they are traveling into our country and whilst they are also in, 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 in South Africa. Finally, first-time applicants, applications for visas will be made at the mission and only renewals or extensions can be made in the Republic of South Africa at our... Um, uh, visa facilitation centers um, that we are going to be opening um, as, 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 as early as next week. So we, we, we are taking those measures and, and are going to be improving capacity at our missions and are going to be working very closely with the VFS um, uh, services so that we are able to issue people with visas timelessly as, as they apply. But let me just make three comments as, as I round up. The first one relates to the critical question of our readiness to implement these regulations. In, 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 in that regard, and I'm aware that some of the issues the re, were, were not published, some of the notices were not published together with the regulations when they were, when they were being gazetted. I, I am going to sign the, 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 the outstanding issue notices relating to the fees for critical visas, uh, list of undesirable businesses, as well as the critical skills list, and, and, and we should gazette them um, as early as next week. The, they are ready for my signature. Secondly, with regard to the requirement for children to have unabridged birth certificates, passports, as well as um, parents' affidavits if traveling with non-parents, I have indicated that this is international practice and we are doing this in order to contribute to the global campaign against child trafficking and, and smuggling. Thirdly, um, I would like to take this opportunity to thank members of the public who, who took time to respond to the request for public comments during the drafting and finalization of the regulations. 
we might not have satisfied everybody, we might not have pleased everybody, but we, we are happy that they participated. We tried to the best of our abilities to, to address the concerns which they had raised, to accommodate their proposals and, and the regulations as they stand. We believe they contribute a great deal towards streamlining our immigration services, particularly with regard to the issuing of visas, clarifying the difference between visas and permits, and ensuring that we, 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 we implement, uh, we have regulations that will ascertain South Africa's security in a global environment which is uncertain, insecure, um, and where we need to be able to guarantee South African security and visitors to our country that comfort that whilst I am a guest of South Africans, I will be secure in that country, as that country would know um, exactly who everybody is, who is in that country. And so these regulations must not be taken in isolation. They are part of the work we are continuously doing to modernize the department, to improve the services we provide to South Africans in terms of the smart ID card, to, to improve the immigration services in the country so that we, we, we manage all of these processes well and in a manner that um, ensures that they, they balance each other out properly. Thank you very much.